Okay, so again, the only real work in this particular question is working out the resultant forces for our free body diagram. So we can go ahead fairly easily and do that. Okay, now we have our uniformly distributed load on the inclined member. So we've got three kilonewtons. Let's draw this one out here. We've got three kilonewtons per meter. Now that's acting along this inclined member, which has a length. It has a length of, it's at 45 degrees, so it's going to have a length of three root two. Okay, so three times three root two is going to be 12.73 kilonewtons okay and that's going to act halfway along some of the forces in the x direction okay so we can straight away see that ha is equal to six kilonewtons okay we're simply balancing this force with this reaction, there's no other x or there's no other horizontal forces. Let's take the sum of the moments. Let's take moments about point A. All right, simply solve for VB equal to, let me see, 12.3 kilonewtons positive number, it's in the direction assumed. Okay, and we can utilize the last equilibrium equation to get VA. So VA is equal to 7.93 kilonewtons, again, in the direction assumed.